The Power of the Cross Thursday after Ash Wednesday The Invitation of Jesus Ask Do I fear the cross of Christ or do I embrace it? Seek Place the crucifix in a prominent place in your home. Look upon this sign of our salvation upon rising and before you retire for the night, asking Christ to help you to take up your cross and follow him. Knock. Meditate on Philippians chapter 3, verse 18 through 21. I have told you often, and I repeat it today with tears. There are many who are behaving as the enemies of the cross of Christ. They are destined to be lost. They make foods into their God, and they are proudest of something they ought to think shameful. The things they think important are earthly things. For us, our homeland is in heaven. And from heaven comes the Savior we are waiting for, the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will transfigure these wretched bodies of ours into copies of his glorious body. He will do that by the same power with which he can subdue the whole universe. What are you living for? Do you see the saving power of the cross, or are you an enemy of the cross? Do you believe in the power of Christ? Transform your life. Believe in the gospel and experience the liberating effects of taking up your cross and following Jesus. Make your life one that will not be spent looking backward in regret for all the good that you did not do. Focus on the good that you can do right now.